Super cute, it makes me cry. All this magic makes me fly. Barbie Nation, so kawaii. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, fellow doll lovers. Barbie Nation here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thanks again for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now it's time to look at some kawaii dolls you may not know about. So welcome to this super fun and cute video today. This will be all non-Barbie and I thought it'd be fun to take you along my recent purchases that I did um, plus gifts that I got that were just super adorable, super kawaii and just, you know, not Barbie, Rainbow High or LOL OMG for a change. So yeah, these might be dolls that you already know, but there might also be some surprises in there. So yeah, I thought they definitely deserve the screen time and the attention. So I thought it'd be fun to just line them up today, talk a little bit about them and go over them with you all. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, because we're going to talk some kawaii dolls. <laughs> So our first stop is the UK, England, or the United Kingdom. Yeah, the UK. That's our first stop, and that is the home of Cindy. Now, Cindy is actually a doll that's been around for quite some time. Yes, I made notes. So she is a British fashion doll since 1963, actually. So she is just four years behind Barbie and she had some changes over the years not only in licensing but also in her looks yeah she is just a super cute doll and they have like this amazing super cute lineup of Playline dolls for Cindy that they released last year they first came in 2020 with like these super elaborate um, collectible dolls and these were also very cute. I was eyeing that ice skater so bad, but yeah, it's just, they were only available in the UK, but that ice skater still on my mind, such a pretty doll. The same goes with the Playline Cindy's, by the way, they are only released in the UK and thank God for vintage Barbie Claire. Thank you girls so much for sending her over to me. She sent her over last uh, November and well, little did she know that was my birthday, so it couldn't have been timed better. The packaging is so easy and simple. It actually folds out to a play set and you can easily just put her back into the box. Which is very nice if you are a semi-boxed collector like I am. So yeah, you can use this background to photograph her in and it's like a little storefront. How cute. So yeah, she is super adorable. So she, this is the stylist salon girl. So she has all these accessories to do hair. And it comes with a little booklet. It says, design a new look for Cindy. Yeah, it is very adorable. All the girls of the Playline lineup are in there. You can do all kinds of fun things in this little mini book. I mean, so mini, so cute. Oh my gosh. Her hair is pastel pink. Now that's a big plus for me, of course. She has this little apron, apron. Apron, apron. Apron, yeah. <laughs> I just love it when dolls have aprons. It's, I don't know, I think I'm just also fascinated by, you know, medieval clothes and, you know, kind of like the peasant dresses that has these aprons, like the most of the Disney princesses have. Maybe that's the reason why I love them so much, but yeah. I just love aprons. Uh, her hair, really nice quality hair. I think this is actually Saran hair and overall, yeah, this is just a very cute doll. And they also have this purple girl. I think she is a bakery. She has a bakery set. <sighs> yeah. So Cindy is, well, she was 
She was absent for a while, but she came back strong, let me tell you. Look her up. She has, uh, I think there are some accounts on uh, Instagram that have a lot of uh, pictures with these new Playline Cindy's and also the collector ones from 2020. Definitely worth a look and to consider adding to your cute and pastel doll collection. Over to Germany, which is our next stop. And that's the birthplace of Steffi Love. And she is produced by Simba Toys. And Steffi has been around since 1987. Yeah. And Steffi has a lot of cute variations and releases. Especially the past couple of years, she really has delivered some very cute fashions. In the past, like when she was first released in the early 90s, she was kind of, well, yeah, she was the lesser quality version of Barbie. But nowadays, actually, well, they kind of leveled a bit because Barbie declined in quality and Steffi kind of stayed the same and actually just amped it up a little. So the first one I just want to quickly get into the screen is this hair play Steffi with this super long pink hair that, you know, this curly dress with the pink tool on the top and the hair quality well, pretty much the same as Barbie gives us these days. But, you know, it's... It's pretty nice. So just a simple hair play doll, but very cute. Cute colors, they make use of very cute color schemes. So I am living for Steffi these days. Now there's this other set, and you may probably have seen it come across your screen somewhere. And it's a... Mermaid Family Pack. I mean, what else is there to say about this? A merman, a mermaid, with merbabies. How freaking adorable. Besides the fact that everything is like just heavily molded on, you know, like the tail and everything and the articulation is just very basic and the plastic also on these dolls, super hollow. You know, quality wise, not the best, but in terms of cuteness, and we haven't seen a family mermaid. Well, at least I can't remember ever seeing a mermaid family doll pack. So thank you, Simba Toys, Steffi Love, for stepping up that mermaid game. That is just so cute. And on the back, we see some cute pictures of them and some happy family pictures. It just, this is so adorable. And look at that belly over here so the baby can fit in the belly so she can also be just pregnant just think of all the storylines these kids can play out with this mer family isn't that just the cutest i am just living for this set you have no idea <laughs> now that is some cute s a f <laughs> So our next stop is Japan. How else could it be? The birthplace of kawaii culture and homeland to many, many things in the world that are just too cute to even look at. Lika! Lika, I mean, I'm sure you guys already know her and have heard lots about. Even though she is very skipper size, she is a little doll, but she is so cute. Her outfits are adorable and her quality is always on point. So that's what makes these dolls really stand out. She's produced by uh, Takara, Takara Tomi now, because it used to be only Takara, but now it's Takara Tomi. And she has actually been around since 1967 already. And she had likes also, of course, just like Barbie, she had some different faces and looks and she has been redesigned over the years, but um, they eventually just stayed with this design right now. And I think this one is since 2015. But I'm not the Lika expert over here. I just think she's super cute. <laughs> so she's an 11 year old girl. So that's why she's that skipper size. And she's based on, um, you know, shoujo manga, which is like the pretty girl manga. She was based upon, you know, that style of uh, girly comics. And that's what obviously makes her already super cute. So there are also some limited edition uh, Liga dolls. There are some style dolls. Hashtag Liga, I guess. Yeah, those are 17-year-old uh, Liga Chan girls. 
These are bigger and more Barbie sized and she comes with all kinds of stylable clothes and really is on trend with um, the doll photography that's really hot at the moment. So she's really designed for that. Major holy grail doll for me is the Little Twin Stars Lika. They were so hard to get a hold on because you have to use like a Japanese address or have these websites that shop for you and well, it's yeah, not the easiest to get your hands on. But the Little Twin Stars Lika, I really am trying to save up for this doll and I'm to the point where I don't care anymore if I have to pay like 300 euros for her because she's that epic to me. And this year they came with the uh, cinnamon roll Lika-chan. Super cute! <gasps> oh! I just, you know, looking at it just makes me just all choke of cuteness in my throat, you know, I just because of all the squealing and the squeaking that happens inside that wants to come out. <sighs> yeah, she has some very cute additions. But what I recently got was this drinking machine, well, this vending machine actually, and it's this. And inside is this vending machine and you can press like a button and an actual drink comes out. How freaking cute. So, like I said, this lash hashtag Lika dolls, those are more of like the Barbie size dolls. How adorable is this? So obviously I got the hashtag rainbow unicorn one. <laughs> she is just so epic with all of these color streaks in her hair. She has a unicorn top, rainbow socks, mixed with some awesome street fashion. It has all these different you know kind of like instax style uh, photographs so it really is made for like this doll photography that we adult collectors love to do in our spare time also of course they uh, release these princess type dolls now i'm secretly a sucker for princess dolls especially for these beautiful big poofy gowns like you see behind me yeah that is a good score for me Oh my god. Like, did I... Yeah, it's a wedding set. This Lika-chan, I mean the background, the color scheme, it is so serene, so cute, so pretty. I mean, I can't take my eyes off it. It's so adorable in every way. And she even comes with a matching prince, which is this guy. I'm here. How freaking adorable is this they are made for my collection So our final stop is South Korea, and that is the birthplace of Mimi doll. And Mimi... Now this is a doll that I probably have seen before, but not gave too much attention. And I don't know why, because this Mimi girl... Ooh, she is one cute pop star princess professional cutie. Really. Um, Mimi actually means pretty pretty in Korean and that is just adorable to me. And she has like different sections. So she has uh, Mimi Princess, which is more of like, you know, the fairy tale uh, fantasy girls. Then you have uh, Fashion Mimi and uh, also Seventeen Mimi. And that's more of like uh, um, cute trendy fashions and um, more Barbie-esque, you know, of the day jobs and such. And then you also have uh, Little Mimi, which is like the, the Chelsea of the bunch. <laughs> this little girl that also has some adorable cute sets. Like, I remember this set of this super cute little scooter uh, set and well, all kinds of fun things, but that little Mimi, that is also one heck of a cute little girl. So 
it's quite the brand over there. Yeah. So Fashion Mimi, or on the boxes it says Mimi Style. I mean, adorable. They kind of remind me of like the Jenny dolls, and Jenny was the literally the Japanese Barbie. So she still had like the Lika face, but very just all the Barbie maturity to her. And Mimi kind of gives off that same vibe actually. And some uh, very cute fashions and accessories, as you can see. <gasps> this girl knows how to have a good time. So this is kind of like the pop star girl, I guess, with the bunny ears and this super bubblegum pop kind of vibe and like almost like a performance outfit. Adorable. Her aesthetic, I mean, you guys understand that I am living for this girl. Now, I actually didn't know about Mimi until uh, Andrew introduced me to her. So, Andrew, thank you again. Let me tell you, there are even more super cute releases of this Mimi girl. And especially the, um, the fashion Mimi. And really, some princess Mimi dolls are just freaking cute. It comes with like super elaborate play sets. The level of detail on these items, especially the accessories, is so good. So since this is my first like Mimi doll and because their accessories and fashions are so cute, I think we're just gonna have to unbox them, don't you think? But their presentation is so cute. Girl, you don't have the space. Okay, here she goes. Here she is outside of her box. So this whole dress, this is actually just one piece. I thought these were separate pieces. So that was kind of a letdown because I thought, you know, if this was kind of like an overskirt that you could use separately, <gasps> the fashion choices. Oh, I changed her shoes, by the way, these boots. She came with these boots and I kind of recognized them. Do you? If I'm correct, these look just awfully a lot like the um, a boots that Barbie had in the 90s Fashion Avenue packs. But yeah, I'm not mad because I love these kind of boots and to have them in white is just, you know, white goes with almost everything, so that's really nice. Their hair is actually pretty soft. Um, I think, I don't know what hair type it is, but it's not that super plasticky awful hair. She is one heck of a magical girl and I love her to bits. She even came with a stand by the way, so she can position herself in some cute poses because she has posability in the uh, elbows, wrist, knees and ankles. I gotta say this Mimi, she stole my heart just right away. She is such a cute magical girl. I mean just look at her. And then we also, of course, have this party shot, Mimi, so cute. Her bunny ears. Yeah, I am obsessed with this girl, her lavender hair, and she even has some super pretty curls. I mean, the way that she is styled and the amount of accessories that she comes with. So she has this little bouquet in her hand. Her dress is very detailed with these ribbons and the pearls. This cute little bunny bag. So cute! And so she also has this balloon. And yeah, this is... She is one heck of a party. <laughs> Look at how adorable she is. And she also came actually with these kind of like lenses. You put these in front of your camera, I think like so. So that way she can, you can, you know, take extra 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 shots with your camera it's a really fun touch you know a cute effect to get the kids photographing and this one says love so you have to i think hold it like this to get it in frame <laughs> that is such a cute touch to add to these dolls i gotta say i fell hard for mimi i'm gonna need some more mimi in my life well yay for mimi she looks so freaking adorable. Mimi, 
you're my new obsession. And thanks again, Andrew, for introducing me to these fabulous, fabulous girls, pastel magical girls that I wouldn't want to miss in my collection. So now thank you for leaving me totally obsessed by her and probably searching every inch of the internet trying to find more Mimi dolls. So cute! So that was my little tour around the world in cute kawaii dolls. Now there must be a lot more cute dolls out there. I know there's this Spanish version of Lika called Chabel. She's also super adorable, but there must be more, more of these kind of cute dolls around there that I haven't seen yet or that just need some attention. So if you know some of them and I haven't mentioned them before, let me know down in the comments below and I can look them up. Maybe even some cute toy lines that are long forgotten that, you know, is fun to look up because I'm all about the kawaii cute pastel dolls, of course. And I know the 80s had a lot of them in the early 90s. So if you know any of them that come to mind, leave it down below and um, inform us. Okay, guys, I hope I l you learned something from me today and... Um, I had a lot of fun and my heart is completely warmed up with all of this kawaii fuzziness. Yay. Okay guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah! Big kisses from me and I'll see you then.